Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today we're continuing our series in About Face. Um, and we're talking about networking. And one of the biggest blunders that I see is net whining. You know who that is. This is the person who is constantly going on Facebook, Twitter, or maybe they're talking to you in person and they're telling you about all how how terrible their job search is going and how you know it's all the employer's fault and they just they they don't know what they're talking about they don't see what's what 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 quality they are blah 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 and so before I get into why this is such a terrible strategy is um I I like to put like some neural triggers um, so that you can kind of remember the conversation in, in in the future. So today, what we have, what I've got, is Starscream from Transformers. Most of you know who he is. Uh, I got Generation One Starscream here. He's talking while well, he's getting yelled at from Megatron, and um, because whenever Starscream messes up, whenever Starscream does something wrong, he always points fingers at other people. He never puts the blame on himself. He never tries to see what he did wrong in the situation. Now, here's the reality. Whether we like to face it or not, a lot of times we mess up. A lot of times when we go in for an interview, for, um, for say we're giving a pitch to someone, we mess up. But instead of taking ownership of that, looking back on the situation and seeing where could I have done better what maybe have I had I done wrong what we like to do is point the finger at the other person and so so what what happens is two really unattractive things come out of this one is we go from job interview to job interview to job interview and we continually strike out and then we place the blame on other people so one that's uh, that's never going to help you grow and get to the point where you can hit one out of the ballpark, right? You have to always evaluate the situation, and even if even if they were wrong in some aspect, there's always areas where you could have done better. Um, the second thing, and this is the most unattractive thing when we're talking about your network, is posting dirty laundry out for everybody right the people in your network are supposed to be there and feel confident about you they're supposed to want to depend on you and um, if all they see is you whining and complaining and pointing fingers at other people it really looks unattractive it's a very very unattractive uh, characteristic uh, personality trait um, that you should try to wash away immediately. You can, to some extent, it's okay to say, you know, you know, I had a been having a difficult few weeks, but I'm taking care of it. I'm working to to see, like, you know, what I can do to to change things around. But um, always constantly um, harking on the negative. Uh, especially what you don't understand what you're doing is you're taking the negative energy that you received from from what you perceive to be a negative outcome and you're you're redirecting it towards other people and this is this is bad but this is particularly bad and particularly poisonous when you're redirecting it towards your network because what you're doing is you're infecting your network with negative energies and they're not going they're not going to want to be around someone who is negative so no matter what your situation is you know refrain from throwing the negative out don't be a star scream don't point it at other people own up to who you are own up for your mistakes and then press on and the other thing is um you know a net, a net winner right someone who is constantly winning with their network is constantly throwing out positive information things that are helpful and even if they're having a bad day even if things aren't going the way that they want they will 
constantly and consistently give their network positive energy to reinforce and make it stronger. And when you do that, your network will provide you positive energy. What you don't want is your network to either one, shut you off completely because they don't want the negative energy, or you also don't want them to send negative energy back at you because that can be that can be a poisonous uh, cycle that just builds and builds and builds on itself so I hope this has been helpful if you have identified yourself as someone who's constantly um, whining net whining um, to your network then you know think about what are th what are one or two things that you can do today to mitigate the those those problems in the future and then you know going forward maybe the next time something bad happens whether it's job related or not you write it down in a journal or you make your own video about it but that way you can vent and you can get it out of your system but without throwing that negative energy out into your network because when when the going gets tough the tough need their network okay I hope this has been helpful and um, I'll catch you in later videos. Take it easy.